Okay, it's 5.15 and we'll I'll call a meeting to order and certify that what I see, we have a quorum. If everyone could stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Muted. Yeah. Little feedback there. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, first thing, uh, any correspondence, Sarah? Well, let's just make sure we have everyone come because there's some. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can we take, so uh, can everyone uh, like either put on their mic or whatever and take attendance here? Trent, are you there? I think you're muted too. Yeah. I'm unmuted. Okay. Patrick's here. Tom, I'm you're there. there, right? Mike and Julie are there. Alexandria is there. I'm here, Rich. Can you hear me? Yes, I do. We're here. Shar and Mike, I mean, Shar and Mark, are you both there? Yes, we are. Okay, Ruth is here. Trent, are you there yet? Oh, I'm here. Okay, I think we're all. Trent is here. Okay, we're all accounted for. Right. Yeah, I don't see Henry and Anna. Who's caller one? Is is Cole? Are you caller one? Take it a guess. Don't know. Cole, are you there? Cole, are you caller one? No. Well, I don't know. Okay. With okay. That. Well, we'll just. So, so the people that I have is not present are Alderperson Ackley, Cole Phillips, Anna Shane, and Henry Shane. Okay. 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 Correspondent, Sarah? Yes. Um, on October 28th, uh, Katrin from Esslingen emailed myself and Bob Quashis and John Kekin in with, re with a proposal to begin a project called Coffee with a German to assist Esslingen's fire department staff with getting the opportunity to utilize and refresh their English language skills. This would consist of weekly 30 minute meetings via Zoom and between that would be between up to five Esslingen firefighters and then volunteers from the city of Sheboygan. Uh, Carly Campbell, who is the administrative coordinator for Sheboygan's fire department is going to serve as our representative in this project and she's going to be working on getting the plans in place. So this has all just happened over the last several days. Um, she will keep me posted about the status of the project going forward. If there's anyone else who's interested in participating um, to do these, these weekly meetings, I don't know that you would have to be committed to being the same person every single week. Um, please let myself or Rich know, and we'll get you connected with the group that's working on the project. Yeah, they, they'd like to uh, um, learn more conversational English because most of them just learn book English, um, like imagine you people <laughs> over in your countries. And also because they're finding more and more of their, what we would call 911 calls are coming from people and because it, English is one of the languages that a lot of the callers have been using over there, they, they'd like to, uh, be able to pick up more of their language skills. So if anyone's interested, just as he said, let Sarah I or uh, no. Okay, uh, we're looking for approval of the minutes from April, um, no, October November 8th. 5th. I mean, uh, October 8th. Eight, oh, October 8th, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Moved by Yolanda, is there a second? Carolyn, second? Or Patrick had his hand up too. Um, so any discussion? All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Okay. If Aye. Minutes are approved Aye. for filing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Our first item of business is very exciting. Um, as you know, we usually about this time every year have a dinner for all our exchange students. Well, that's not here, and we have a very limited number, but we'd like to honor our two students from, uh, one from South Korea and one from Germany that are over here, and we're excited about it. So at this time, I'll, um, if they would like to stand up, we'll start with Yoon Ho. Scott, is that oh, microphone Scott. turned on? We're working on it. Scott, it's showing red on the screen, but it's not turning it on. Thank you. Okay, Yoon Ho, um, would you be willing to introduce your host parents for us? Um, so these are my host parents, uh, Worth family, and um, I go to Sheboygan Lutheran High, and I'm a senior there. Yeah, it's actually my third year in Sheboygan. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm planning to go to college in the States, but not necessarily, not necessarily decided in Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Well, we have a gift for you. Thank you, Alexander and King Paul, for uh, choosing me and put it together. So here you go. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. And our next is Felix. And Felix, you're from Essendon? Oh, we have a, it's a favorite spot in our hearts here. We're disappointed that we couldn't be visiting this coming um, May, but we're gonna put off our visit to May 22. So hopefully everything will be good at that. So if you could introduce your host parents. So these are my host parents, Lynn and Todd Weinfurter. Yeah. I'm in grade 10. Uh, to North. Yeah. Mm, can you? Kind of, right. kind of hard right now, right? Yeah, it's kind of hard right now. It's, it is difficult. I think in-person school is way better than online school, but I have to agree with it, so. I teach virtually, so I know I'm not fun for a teacher. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. We're very happy to have you here in Sheboygan, both of you. And uh, once you're uh, once you're here, you're you're part you're a Sheboygan night in heart. So please speak well of Sheboygan uh, when you get home. So congratulations! Thanks for showing up. If you need to leave, you may. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was exciting. A little, little different than we normally do, but. Thanks. So our our second item is I think remember last month that we got 
a donation of coins from Shoreline Metro have been received, and we kind of got it. We need to know what we want to do with them. Uh, we have them here. There's various. They're from various countries, so we need to know: is this something we want to uh, cash in and use it use it for a donation for somewhere, or do we want to make a display somewhere, like at the library or yeah. the art center or something to display? This one is you know, our relationship Canadian with coins. But these are pretty much any country you can possibly imagine. It's big variety. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm open to suggestions, what we want to do. I, I have no idea what the monetary value would be of them. We'd have to have that checked out. Or um, some artistic person can put together a nice display. So thoughts? Hand her the microphone. Should be on. It's on. What was that? We could, but then, you know, if we, I know there's a few banks that do it, but then, you know, if they, I don't know if they just do that for us or without us putting the money in there or not. So we'd have to find out. Rich, we didn't hear what Yolanda said. She said the microphone she, is not on. She said, uh, "Should we um, find a monetary value first to see what um, it may be?" But then I said we'd have to find a, a place that'd be willing to do it—a bank or something—without us having to deposit it or exchange it. Rich, Julie, maybe we could use them as a raffle item at our ne next Essexian Fest. Pardon, I didn't understand you, sorry. <laughs> what? Maybe we could use them as a raffle item at our next Esslingen Fest. Oh, okay, There's a, that's an idea. I mean, just the, 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 whole, the, the whole bucket of them? Okay. Whatever, we can decide. Um, we can find out, though, too, with what the value is, I mean, Last time I went, I, I had an account. I can open another one and, and deposit the coins or ask the value. Okay. Um, I, to give it a relative, a relative. Uh, uh, I mean, how are we going to raffle it off if people don't know what it's worth? Oh yeah, right. Because the same as us. Luck, luck of the they draw. You know. Yeah, you can do it in silent or you can do a basket. Okay. Okay. But it's good to find out the price. I agree. I mean, yeah, I mean, and that's not, we can't, uh, first of all, what, it's all coin, correct? Right. Yes. And then uh, each coin, we can figure out what the denomination or where it's from and, and the euro, if it's a euro or if it's whatever. And, you know, and that's going to change with uh, exchangers, correct? Well, I think maybe first we... Uh, you gave me a good idea, Yo. Maybe we first need to identify each one of the coins, you know, from where they're from, and make a list of what the denomination in their in the country's money is. So can I can I say something? Sure. Um, I've been to Europe a couple times. I'm always leaving money there, coins, and the coins aren't worth anything. They're worth 50 cents or they're worth a quarter or a penny, a nickel, dime. Unless they've got a date on them that's from 1800, they're not worth anything. But what, what would be interesting, I have coins in my basement. I've got two, two coin collections. I, we spent a small fortune on the cabinet and put them in. And after that, when I did the third one, I just took a standard frame and I had, you know, some cardboard or whatever, and I just took a hot gun and I glued them onto the cardboard, and then I put them in the frame. They look pretty cool, and I probably have two dollars tied up in the frame. Um, so, but these coins, some of the coins I have are they're from all over the world, actually, and I got them from my dad, and he's been gone for forty years. So I think what we should do for starters, don't do anything with the coins until we can all give everybody a hug and 
we'll be able to make a better decision. <clears throat> but I think Esling and Fest is a great idea, but, but not as a monetary, not saying we think these coins are worth 50 bucks. But I mean, I'd be more than happy to, if somebody wanted to help when, it, when we get to that point a year or two from now and take a hot gun and uh, glue some of these coins and put them in a, in a eight by 11 frame. And a little montage. What's that? A little montage. Yeah, you know, and like, uh, uh, you know, like some of these you can tell are from Asia. Some of them are going to be from Europe. Some of them might be from South America. Some might be from Africa. You could do a couple different frames. Let's just sit on these coins for the time being. Let's just not do anything with them right now. I think. I think that if we glued them, if they didn't have any monetary value or collector's value, we would glue that collector's value for somebody. No, if you use hot, if, if you're going to use a hot glue gun, um, it's not like you're taking uh, uh, some wall bond or something. You, I, I've already. You can poke and get it off. Yeah, you just take your finger and you pull them off the paper for just starters. Pull right off. And then you take your fingernail and you pull the hot glue off of them. So you're not going to devalue any of them. If, if something's got a date from 1950 or 1925, <laughs> but these are tourists that came from Sheboygan and just for the fun of it, they've left their, their standard money, their coins in our city. So the coins... They're not really worth anything, and you won't find anybody to give you an appraisal on them because they want to appraise coins that are 75 years old. Yeah, you're going to be getting face value on those coins Yeah, if you're lucky. If, and you won't get that because try to when you come back from Europe sometime and you got euros, try to cash those in. They don't want them. They're worthless. They're so, not. You have a bank that accepts euros, but... I like the idea as well as not like spending about it. I mean, none of them like, like sit a collage or a montage and maybe no. like the uh, John Kohler Michael Art Center would like to display it. I don't know. Yeah, but right, right now everything is pretty much dead. I'm just saying for starters, let's okay. just sit on these things for a year. I mean, let's face it, a year from now I'm still going to be wearing a mask. I already know it. <laughs> so let's sit on this for a year or so and Let's not be in a big hurry to do something with it. Is what I'm saying. If, that, if that's the case, nobody's going to see it. Any, nobody's going to see it anyways. You're right, Mark. Can I move that we take Mark's idea and sit on these for a year? Who's going to second that? Okay, we second it. But who who's going to store them? Mayor's office. Yeah. I say they've they've <laughs> already, already been here. here. They've already been in my Sorry, office for a while. Okay. Okay, yeah. we'll have them. At, Okay, the motion made to keep them on hold and look at closer to Essling and Fest to look at to do something with them. Second to that. Well, no, I think we hit. We already got that. We always got that. So I'm just repeating kind of. So any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion? Signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, any opposition? Same <laughs> sign. Okay, motion carried. Okay, thanks. Um, this, the next one, uh, promoting other Sheboygan, is more or less informational, but I did send Sarah, and uh, today she put on the first um, Facebook post, so it'd be, I'd like to see you, if you can go to, uh, like the Mayor's International Committee page. <laughs> and share it and start getting some um, um, spreading out in a community. And also, if you know anyone, any groups, nonprofits, I'm not looking at businesses, but nonprofits or churches or whatever that know they have a relationship with um, countries around the world. This one um, is St. Peter Lutheran Church, and they have been for over 20 years um, edu helping educate the kids of El Salvador, and it's been an exchange program back and forth, so it's a long-standing program, so I thought that was a good one to, to start with. Um, as you'll see on there, what they do, they're trying to work with the kids down there to keep them out of the gangs, because El Salvador has a, quite a, a gang problem. So, And they've had students over the years, they finally got one in graduate school now, 
okay, that they're helping support. So uh, it's a great program, and I'd like to maybe do that. I know Rotary and Qantas and a bunch of others have um, programs, and because I think I'd like to show that we may be mayors of our national committee for Esslingen and Savami, but we have relationships with all over the world. So, and, and Mayor Mike, I'd kind of like you to write up something for um, on that Great Lakes thing, because you have Canadian friends, and if you could put something on there about that program, because that's something we do. Will do. Sounds good. Thanks, Rich. You're welcome. So, um, anyone... I, I, Cole was going to be, I said he might be here, but do we have any information on this Sister Sobami? I know we got a letter. I, I've sent the email over to the last known contact that I had, okay. which was the person that Grazia had been emailing with. And that, that was two years ago. Right. That's the only contact person I have via email. So hopefully I will hear back from that person. Okay. That's, so, that's all I have to go so on. So an email has been sent of welcome and asking how everyone's doing um, over in Sabami. So that's, a, 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 for us, a very giant step. A, uh, Cole kind of put that together, so I appreciate that. So any other comments? I know last time, Alexandra, we're going to work together on, on getting some more connections. So. Okay, any other, any other questions on that or comments? Okay, hearing none. Uh, it's been a tradition, except last year, to decorate the Christmas tree here at um, City Hall. Um, Sarah, you got some information on that? Uh, yeah, typically we would do that at our December 3rd committee meeting, but seeing as how many are attending virtually, I uh, just wanted to get the sense as to if there was perhaps some other thoughts as to how, go, how to go about doing the tree decoration. If, assuming we're still wanting to do it, mm -hmm. that if we had, you know, if, if certain people came on certain days or, or something, I mean, any of those types of options that you could say, okay, well, this person will come on Tuesday at three o'clock and you just, you set a certain time. And as we know, it doesn't take that long to put up all the ornaments. so. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to put it out there for discussion as to what the thoughts were. Do we have some ornaments left? Because I know a few from break every year. Yeah, whatever yeah. was yeah, whatever was taken down has been boxed up and you know, this yeah. is this is year two back in City Hall, so everything should be Where's the tree was, gonna go and the entrance? In the same spot as last year. Okay. Yeah. So what's the I mean Sarah's idea would we still want to do the tree and just come in shifts or or have a few volunteers and do it what's the what's the feeling in a group Sarah do you think there might be some individuals at City Hall that would want to do it instead this one year like during their lunch hour or something it's it's possible um, but I wanted to put it to this group first because it's always been a traditional okay. International Committee uh, project. So I would say if, if no one is interested in um, doing that, then that's probably the route that we would go. But we just need to make, tell you what, I'm make that volunteer. decision. Pardon? Can you hear me? Yes, Mark, we can hear you. I, you know, I, one of the reasons we currently don't go to the meetings, Char and I, is we don't have too much going on at the meetings. Normally, we would go just for the camaraderie of the meeting, but for the December meeting or uh, otherwise, I I will volunteer to help on the tree. I, you know, I walk into a grocery store. I don't like it, but I have a mask on, and I would conceivably walk into the December third uh, uh, meeting with my mask on and. I'm not going to be giving anybody a hug, but I, I guess I, I conceivably would do this. Now, obviously, if Sheboygan really takes a crapper as far as uh, COVID goes, but, you know, we've really gone slid downhill in the last few months. Okay. But it is Christmas. I don't know. Somebody got an idea? 
I, I'm up for I, I agree with you, Mark. I think um, that, uh, you know, I don't, nobody's there. I, I, I would come down and I'd help decorate the tree. Okay, good. And you're, I think, uh, I think and we need you, we need you, Pat, because you're tall. Well, I, yeah, the tree is two stories tall. <laughs> They're rich. <Yeah. laughs> and, so. and, I, and I think I might have broke one or two ornaments last year, so you might not want me having de having to decorate the tree. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I get. It looks like uh, there's several of us that will willing to do it, so I guess we'll uh, we'll, we'll find it. a time to do well, it. Maybe we okay. can send something out a couple of weeks beforehand, and 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 uh, uh, you know, like a week or so before, and say, hey, are we going to do this if things are a little more under control okay. with uh, what's going on? Um, and, and um, I mean, it didn't take us very long to, to decorate the tree. And it's, okay. Okay. It is, I guess it, it is what it is. Okay. We'll, okay. We'll continue with it as planned and we'll find a way. Right. We'll find a way to do it. Okay. okay thanks, Pat and Mark. Appreciate that. Yeah. So, um, is there any, we're, we're getting ready to close the meeting, but is there any uh, thing that you want to put on agenda for next month? Or if not, uh, just if you have something, just email Sarah or I or, or Mayor Mike, and we're looking for items on the, uh, on the agenda. Uh, we're really looking forward to uh, uh, the, whenever we can start planning our trip, but we're going to keep that off of the agenda until we can really get some sense of what's going on here. So. So, any other business? Hearing none, I, I will take a motion to adjourn. Yolanda, is there a second? Motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. I think, okay, we got to watch a second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, thanks, Aye. everyone. Aye. Take care of yourself. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Stay healthy. Happy Thanksgiving.